Hi everyone, this is Nibiru Watcher. It is August 25th, 2018. And we are on AddictedSports.com site. Once again, if you've never been to this channel, I'm here to basically explain the strange skies that we have. And I think I believe I have some theories and explanations why we see them and all that. I don't explain it all in one video. You might have to go back and archives, like I suggest. Explaining away this object here in the sky. A shadowy object. The first thing control would say that is something on the lens. Is it directly on the lens? If it was, well, it should never move frame after frame. Correct? So let's observe this object a couple time frames from here. And you will indeed watch it move. In fact, since we're here, I was going to show you one of some of the orbiting objects that are orbiting this object here. But uh, hang in there because this thing is going to move. And it's going to do more than that. It moved. See that, folks? Okay, so it moves. We can remove the idea that it was definitely not something directly on the lens. How about it's something, I don't know, some kind of a thing that's perfectly round on a spider web, maybe, right in front of the lens, a couple of feet out, blowing back and forth in the wind. If that was true, then it should pretty much waver back and forth, frame after frame. What would be the odds of it appearing and disappearing in nearly the same spot, though? like we see here 22 hours 20 minutes it's there it disappears and a couple hours later it reappears ta-da and it moves about the lens well I'm here to tell you you could go back in the time and you will find like I did here I will spare you but I will leave links and you can do this for yourself let's watch the time-lapse in this video dating back from the 25th. But let me uh, play this forward for you. We are going back in time just to show you that this object appears and disappears. What could ever do that? What would be the odds? Something on a spider web that appears and disappears? Now, maybe some of you ask, like, how come nobody can see it? Nobody's pointing at it. Well, first off, the cameras are more sensitive than the eyes. Number two, the people on the ground are pretty distracted. Unless you really focus on that side of the cloud, then you may let your eyes adjust. You would uh, maybe start to begin to see a somewhat spherical object. In the clouds let's keep playing now we can see this object here is moving and disappearing here did you see that yeah disappearing and I show in many other videos now we can see the object over here and sometimes we see its orbiting object around it which I'm going to show you a little later it happens relatively fast in this video but it is there does it obey the oars the laws of planetary mechanics that we've told in our mainstream science with the mathematics. No, we do live in an electric universe. But however, we do have a lens array system that is also hiding this. I will talk about that a little later in the portion of it. Let me scroll a little fast forward. And I got some lens array photos for you too, which is pretty amazing. Here we can see the object suddenly appearing over here moving around this is in the western sky many times when we see this we could see them in other western facing cameras as well especially if it's higher in the sky so here we sit for a moment and it disappears and it reappears getting bigger sometimes it even turns red that's because the light it does not bend the color red because red 
is a lower frequency, has the largest magnetic field or the toroidal field, less prone. It, the light of red does bend very shallow, not very sharp like infrared, uh, ultraviolet does. Now let's look at some other pictures here. So let's go back in time a little bit and we can catch some of the orbiting objects that it also had here. And perhaps like I did in my last video, we can start to see this orbiting object. Here we saw it appear for one frame. I think it disappeared behind the camp. And this is where it disappeared. Next, we can see in this snapshot, we saw it appear over here. Now, if you weren't paying attention, you would look like nothing there, right? But if you're focusing on this time lapse, you saw the or this shadowy object over here. And for a moment, we see something moving in the, the uh, 10 o'clock position of the shadow. And here we see clearly that I think that looks pretty obvious to most people that there is an object there. Well, a shadow. Not always going to get a shadow on the water. It depends where the light's coming from. Sometimes I believe we're actually looking at the lens itself that's moving, hiding the very planet behind it. Obviously, the planet is not right there. And some may be crazy enough to say that if planets were that close, we would be having all kinds of tidal issues and earthquakes and oh my gosh where have you been because if you say been saying that you have not been watching the news missing tides mysterious tides oh how about a couple of the deepest biggest earthquake that dutch sense earthquake master has ever seen yeah 8.2 it's 560 kilometers in peru Record-breaking 7.2 earthquake at 600 kilometers. And there's another one coming because whenever there's a deep earthquake, there's a bigger, more powerful one. So if we get a 5, 8.2, we're probably going to get a 9 in the next, uh, well, according to the prediction, it should be about Monday or Tuesday, but he could be three or four days off. Look at that. Okay, so... Here we can see the orbit here of the same object. I believe this is one of its moons. Look at that. We can almost start to establish the orbit of this object. It appears right here, this orbit. And then a few hours later, we capture it over here. To the undiscerning eye, you wouldn't see this from the ground too much. I mean, it just kind of looks like a shadow and things are moving. But, you know, it's <laughs> that is crazy. It is amazing that, you know, I'm always catching this on these weird clouds. Like, let's look at this for a second. Why is it that every time we see these clouds, all of Germany's hazed over with a real thin, hazy white sky? When is the last time you've seen a clear blue sky anyways? Especially lately in the last couple of days. Getting kind of strange, don't you think? Hey, how about this camera? This is a western-facing camera. Let's look at this. This one faces the west. And we look at that. Something kind of strange looking here. A little reddish in nature, you might even say. I uh, didn't want to put that at the start of the video, but that is pretty intriguing oh look it here's our orbit you know, ob orbiting object up here appearing just for a moment and remember these aren't quickly twitching moving planets these there was some movement to these planets because these frames are 10 minutes 20 and 30 minutes apart so in this frame We saw one of the orbits on it also. Now let's move it on. A few days later, back on the 20, earlier on the 24th, we can see the object is now here lower in the horizon. It has been steadily moving this way. 
Now we're seeing the orbits with it. The moons, they get to see this object, strange flashing white skies when the two red and blue kachinas approach each other, creating a plasma discharge, spiraling crazy. Yep. Again, here we have these strange clouds, real thin geoengineering, like float drown ships. Those fake popcorn clouds, the pyramid or the triangular shaped TR3B planes that cloak themselves and crank out these clouds, the popcorn clouds. Isn't that funny with the strangest clouds? Since when are popcorn clouds normal, right? I'm telling you now. When you see these popcorn clouds, they just kind of separated clouds. Go get your camera. Look at this one, peering for one frame. Yeah, some say that's not too compelling, but it's still the object. I really like this one, though. This one here is pretty damning evidence. Here you can see all kinds of orbits. Watch this. Was it something on the lens? Absolutely not, because it appears and disappears, right? I mean, just you can just eliminate that. Just something washes it, right? Then it moves around too, right? <laughs> was the you know, something you showed this in my earlier video? Not only have the planets, the shadows on the water, <laughs> right? Yeah. Yep. More orbiting objects. And they're getting bigger. I say significantly bigger. Cannot be something on the lens or a spider web. Go ahead, say it's a spider web. Your comment will not be posted. I'm not going to entertain such hoaxery. Look at this picture. This was given to me by running from sinning and one of my YouTube subscribers. Great guy. I'm going to show you. This huge lens thing here. Sorry, having a, this stupid date thing in the middle. But you guys can see this massive date here. And last but not least, I was going to give you an update. Remember some of the videos that I made? One specific camera, the Jandico Airport, the Northeast Facing Camera in Australia has no longer working. See these airplanes and this nemesis star that I caught? And then this other video that I made here from the same airport with the disappearing moon. Remember that video, right? So let me go back to my archives. Well, guess what? Let's go visit this camera today live time lapse let's go to current image i'm going to show you what they've done to this camera the time lapse has been wiped out they will no longer do their time lapse as soon as it posts the picture it's erased how do you know you know you used to, be able to just click on animation and you'd see it now you get this this lovely object right here <laughs> gone and you could at least do go back a day put just an hour in there view the time lapse nope now you're gonna get this let's see how many are more like this here's uh, some of my favorites here this is the other side of the airport same airport click on time lapse oh yeah it works here see not only that, but they wiped out the entire 10-day server right off, and they're no longer posting it. So that's what time lapse is now gone, folks. From my favorite camera right here. Gone. So if anybody lives in Australia, and you've got a camera, please point it to the northeast sky. They must be hiding something. Look at this. He can't even watch the cameras anymore. And you guys get some most phenomenal views down there from the drone ships and everything else. So I hope you like this video. Please copy, like, and share. And do not forget to visit Boogeyman's For the Awoke channel.
where all you subscribers can be a part of the Skywatchers Union. We've got a lounge. We can share pictures. There's some really cool stuff here. And if you're not getting posted, you can actually come here and get the latest video. It automatically links your video up right to here. So here's all my videos all linking up. As soon as I post it, it just comes on here automatically because YouTube is not sending out my subscribers. It's unsubbing people. So can you come visit me once in a while? You can uh, see we got the uh, Wilk link here, the Twitter link here. You can follow me on Twitter. We got Teespring stuff and all kinds of good stuff. So have a blessed day and see you at the Lord's Supper.